Hi everybody, it's Claire with the third project for October for ScrapFX. So as you can see in this one, I am using an envelope and it's actually the envelope that my ScrapFX things came in all the way from Australia to the UK. So um, I carefully pulled it apart and the inside is this beautiful craft um, colour. So I decided I would create a zine. Um, some of you may call it a zine, I don't know, it depends where you come from, but anyway, it's the zine. So basically a little book made from one piece of paper. So I've started off by adding some um, gloss sprays in Tangelo and Rouge onto the background. And then I'm using this Puddles stencil from ScrapFX and um, some permanent red violet light. And I'm just adding some stenciling onto the background using a blending tool. So I'm basically just going to create a massive background um, using um, colours that I like, the ones that I feel go together with maybe a pop of contrast in there. And here it is, there's the turquoise. This is the mesh stencil as well. So I'm just using that to add a different uh, bit of texture and pattern onto the background. And um, also with the lovely turquoise, these colours work so well together, so pretty. Um, and so you can see it's starting to come together. So then um, if you want to see how to make a zine, there are so many tutorials. There's even one on my YouTube channel, how to make it. Um, it's really, really simple. And then I'm just quickly using my double sided tape gun and I'm just um, fastening the pages together. I mean, you can do it and create lots of pockets as well, but I decided I wasn't really bothered about that this time. I just wanted to create a little book and use lots and lots of wonderful scrap effects uh, goodies in it too. So this is the don't, don't Waste Time stencil, and I'm just using that to get some text onto the background, just to break it up even more, using some white paint, and I'm just um, randomly stenciling through it. I'm not worried about getting it um, all perfect. So this is one of the figures from the Corrugated Women & Co set, and um, it's the chipboard figure, and I'm just adding some black paint onto that all over. This stamp is the cursive writing stamp and um, just with some white ink I've just stamped some of that onto the figure and then I've added some words from the birds mask stencil onto the front of the book as well. So using some double sided tape I'm just sticking that down and then I'm just doing a little bit of acemic writing on the figure as well using a Signo Uniball in white. Then I decided I wanted to doodle some botanical um, elements onto the front of the book as well. So I'm just using that lovely black Posca pen. This size is a 5 PCM. It's one of my favourites for doing these kind of doodles. And then I'm just using the white pen to just outline those to help them pop out the page a bit more. It also links with the white doodling that's on the figure too. And then a little bit of mark making and then we're on to the first page. So then I am using some collage paper. It's the cursive uh, writing one. It's a um, fountain pen rice paper and the negative numbers stamp using some black archival ink. I'm just stamping a few of those onto the page. I think that's one of my favourite stamps at the moment. Um, these are the Frida dolls by Danny Schultz and um, just cutting one of these out. These are on a lovely um, weight of cardstock, so they're great for adding an instant focal point to your work. So I'm just sticking one of those in using a glue stick. And this is um, just a punch that I've got that um, punches out, as you can see, that sort of little botanical element. So I'm using some um, book paper. And once they were stuck in place, then I got this quote. It's one of the Frieda quotes, and I'm just sticking that down too. Then I'm just doodling some more circles onto this page using the Signo Uniball. I don't always know what sort of doodling I'm going to do on these pages. I just kind of go with the flow, really. So this is one of the masks from the Bird Mask Stencil set. And I'm just going round it with some black paint and trying to make it touch the edges of the page, just so that it's not floating in the middle of the page in a bizarre way. Although, of course, it is a bird, so it wouldn't look too crazy, I guess, floating in the middle. 
and then just some of the words on the uh, right hand side then I decided I would outline the bird using some sort of scribbly lines so it isn't too perfect using the same stamp that I used before so I've covered the hole with the uh, mask again and I'm just stamping over that so that it just pushes some of that black a bit further away these are the um, just having a look at my list of what I used um, I think they are fern fronds, the chipboard fern fronds. I've stapled those in place and I'm just adding a bit more mark making onto the page. So it's quite a simple page, allowing the background to pop through where the mask was. Um, I really like that effect. It's a really simple thing to do, but it is so effective. And then again, I'm just adding a bit more journaling, but I'm using the space of the bird to just um, write that in place. So on to the next page. This time I'm adding some um, monogram, um, monogram modern collage paper, sorry, onto the background using gel medium, um, just to start to break up the page. Again, I'm using a figure from the Corrugated Women & Co set. This is one of the corrugated ones and I've used a bit of turquoise paint on there just with the blending tool. And then I'm just going over with the black that's left on my blending tool and just adding some. So the relief parts that stick up are catching some of the paint. So then I'm using the Dream Phrase stencil to add that word dream into the middle. I've added, added a few collage elements and doodled some botanical things onto the page too. Then I decided that I wanted to outline the word dream in the middle of the page. Um, it just helps it stand out and it kind of links the little white elements on the page together helps give it more of a cohesive feeling so then it was splatter time so i'm just using some of the colors that i had used on the pa uh, pages and just adding some splatters onto the background and while this page was open i decided that these fern fronds really disappeared and i wanted them to pop out a bit more so using my white posca pen i just um colored those in and I think you'll agree that they do pop out a bit better. So this is a really fun, quick project to do. And I was able to, to use lots and lots of my ScrapFX um, stash to, um, to create this little book. I mean, you could do loads more with it. You could create, instead of sticking the pages together, you could sew it and you could make pockets on it. And then you could create tags to go in there as well. So um, it's a project that could be as big as you wanted it to be. So then it just needed some uh, ribbon on the back. So this is some recycled sari silk, which I'm just st simply stapling on the back so that I can just wind it round and fasten the book shut. So here are some quick pictures of the pages, some close-ups of what they ended up being like. And um, you can see it's no longer recognisable as an envelope, but this was a really fun thing to do. So maybe you'll have a go at creating your own Zine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.